Welcome to this video. Sometimes we can use axisymmetric modeling to reduce computational cost of a problem. Also, in some cases we can use shell elements to reduce computational cost. There are some situations that we could assume the problem both as a shell or as an axisymmetric problem. This video explains whether and how we could use both of shell assumption and axisymmetric assumption in one problem and reduce computational cost significantly. For example, consider hydrostatic bulge test. If the thickness of the sheet is small enough, we can assume this problem as a shell, and the problem is also axisymmetric. In this video, we are going to model this problem as an axisymmetric shell. At first, we create the blank as an axisymmetric part, which is wire. And we draw a, a straight line for the blank. After that, we create the die, which is axisymmetric and analytical rigid. We create two lines. and then create a fillet between these two lines. We add a reference point to the die and go to the property module. In the property module, we define the elastic and plastic behavior of blank. We enter our values in Pascal and also we enter the density because we are going to model the problem using dynamic explicit. And the section is shell and we enter the thickness of the shell here and assign the section to the blank. Then we can go to the assembly module. In assembling the instances, please consider that we should take the thickness of the shell into account and create the distance between the die and sheet. The distance can be one half of the shell thickness. In a step module, we create a dynamic explicit step and set the time period to be 0.1. In interaction module, we create a contact property with friction coefficients of 0.05 and create a contact between die and sheet. In load module, we fix the die and also we fix one end of the blank. We apply pressure to the bottom side of the blank, which is 3 MPa. And also we create a smooth step amplitude for the pressure. Since the die is analytical rigid, it doesn't need any mesh and we only create mesh for the sheet. The type of the mesh is axisymmetric stress, linear and we can choose between shell and membrane for the sheet. For relatively a smaller thickness, which bending is not important, we can use membrane. We create the job and submit it. The job has really low computational cost and this is the result of the forming process. In fact, 
We modeled this shell as an axisymmetric wire. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.